Kai gave Bruce a piece of his mind and told him to not be talking like that about him. What have I done to you for you to talk to me in that type of way? I swear to God, you need to go to therapy. I don't want to be your friend no more. I shouldn't even be in your house. I'm here to tell you, suck my dirt. I own you. Start by kicking out the these. Who's this day? Now we can't bust. There's a whole oh. Oh. And I would like to personally welcome you guys to my closet. Guys, that's a store. Bro, I don't go around talking about your fam family and shit. That bro. Chill out with that. Because you're no damn well you're not saying that to my face, bro. You're just not doing it, bro. You're not respectfully. Too fair that you got so offended by that right there, by me giving an example. The shoe, it kind of looked like the shoe fit a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You want to watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. The same way that this is Dang. also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips. You look stupid here. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Dr. Mystery for these compilations, bro. We got when streamers, humble, entitled streamers. Now y'all know some of these streamers nowadays, they be getting too big headed. They be getting, just because they making all this money, bro. Look, look, bro. Money don't, you know what I'm saying, define who you are. Did I say that right? It don't make you who you are. Like, just because you're a bigger person than me, bro. Like, that don't make you, like, more, you feel me, more important. Everybody equal. Like, you get what I'm saying? That's why with some of these celebrities, they be thinking they so, like, higher up. Like, bro. Calm down, relax. You're a, a normal human being like me. So yeah, man, never put a celebrity like on that pedestal. You feel me? Don't don't even half of y'all shouldn't even. Well, most of us we shouldn't even be looking up to celebrities for real, for real, because we supposed to be looking up to ourselves. Cause some of these celebrities they not who they are on camera. Just putting y'all on game, man. Cause somebody, hey, you sometimes your favorite. You know what I'm saying? Your heroes they don't be. Too heroic. What's going on, good on family? It's your boy Kiko Dummy. Yes, I'm back with another reaction, man. I'm back from that dumb shit. You feel me? Look, bro, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the sub button. It's free. You don't gotta pay for the sub button at all, gang. Hit the sub button right now. Make sure you like the video and turn on post notifications. I upload every single day. And you can also follow me on every social media link that's in the description below, bro. Y'all already see by the title of this video. When streamers humble entitled streamers. Once again, shout out to Dr. Mystery. Cause they be, I think it's this channel and Mr. Truth. They got like hella compilations of streamers doing whatever. Now we about to go ahead and jump right into this video. Listen, man, to all my new viewers, when I hit the play button, make sure you hit that sub, man, bro. Please hit that sub, man, man. Stop playing. Streamer had his career destroyed in the coldest way possible, and FoozyTube humbled Jack Doherty and let him know he wasn't the man. These are the times. People must don't like Jack Doherty because when he got in the accident, bro, it wasn't nobody. No one, nobody saying, "Oh my God!" I, you know, I hope you, I hope he's okay, and I hope he like. No, is Jack Doherty? Is he really that unlikable? Like, streamers humbled entitled streamers. It was impossible not to start off with Kyson Nat because he had to humble Bruce drop him off for talking too much about him. Oh man. Bruce is well known for speaking his mind and trying to start beef on his streams. In fact, during his time on Twitch, he's gotten several bans after spreading hateful comments towards other creators and even his own viewers. Damn. In October 2023, a series of Discord DMs between Bruce and his mods got leaked where they went against Kai after he released his short film inspired by the movie Rush Hour, yeah. Global Pursuit. In the DMs, he also yeah. said stuff about Lil Yachty, Convy, and the AMP crew. Right after reading the DMs, Kai gave Bruce a piece of his mind and told him to not be talking like that about him and to go to therapy to set his mind straight. My mother, I want you to tell me what have I done to you for you to talk to me in that type of way and to gossip to your minds, bro. You should be going to therapy. <laughs> Yo. I ain't gonna lie. I low-key miss that trio that Bruce and all um, goddamn Kai and... Rage, bro. I miss that trio, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but damn. How you feeling? I really, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really think that nigga really going through some, bro. I swear to God, you need to go to therapy if that's how you feeling, bro. You need to go on that track, hop, hit a hundred on the gas, straight to therapy. Tell the or what the going to, bro. That's what you need to do, gang. You mm. need to do that, bro. Because what I don't respect it at all, bro. You telling me this old, well, damn near after the apology, bro. That's not cool. I'm going to treat this as if it's a, anybody would do this to me. He also went on to say that he didn't want to be associated with Bruce anymore since it meant being cool with him one yeah. day just to be backstabbed the next day. And I don't want to be.
be your friend no more. I don't want to do shit with you no more. I don't want to be associated with you no more. I don't want, I don't give a f what you got going on. Because it is too dangerous Damn. to have a like that in my circle. One day smiling, next time you in your phone gossiping to your top mods about what you're doing. And I, and I, hey, hey, I condemn delete that shit. You'd think Bruce would learn about talking too much on stream, but it seems he's actually enjoying drawing all the attention and getting humble because of it. Because back in late July 2024, Bruce did a stream right after breaking up with his girlfriend, Dana. When oh, one of his viewers yeah, told I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. Live and asking if he could react to his stream, to which Bruce had this to say. You don't think I give a f if Lacey is locked? Uh, that fat white. You think I give a f face? I'm so EB. Y'all. Y'all will steal, yes, I am still. They said he was saying fuck phase, but then he was, you know what I'm saying, trying to get in phase. Punk, Mr. Crash, I don't give a f Nah, I ain't said that, like, come on now. Like, I really fuck with Bruce, bro. Like, I grew up, you know what I'm saying, well, me and him the same age, but still, though, like, watching this man, you know, just, it's just sad to see him, you know what I'm saying, get this much hate and everything like that, bro, but... You know, Bruce, he's still one of the ones now. He's still one of the best streamers. But it's just crazy how, you know, things just go left, you know? Body, yes, everything. I said it, I don't care. After going off against Lacey, he began calling out Banks, the owner of FaZe Clan. A few minutes later, Banks called up Bruce to tell him off for disrespecting his corporation, telling him that he would make an example out of him, and even told him that he would steal his girl. Yo, Banks, yo, Banks, what's my mother, yo, yo? <laughs> That what about that? I'll be back in LA next week. Let's pop it then. I'll be back in LA with the ball hogs next week. Let's pop it. I'm in red neck outside. I'm outside. This thing is crazy, bro. Oh my god, I'm outside. Let's they said that dude hurt it, Bruce. Back nothing. <laughs> I'm in LA next week. I got so I got a place to stay in all twin. Yo, just know I'm back in the... Okay, okay. And... You're... For real? I'm gonna take one... Watch, I'm gonna make an example out of you. You're a little... You're a little... Wait about it. And we both know that. I'm... I'm... You're a little person tonight. Tomorrow. Somebody link me to... That. Just now you... Call me. Damn. But things didn't end there, though. Yeah, and she went to the damn party. That is crazy, bro. Later, Bruce's ex-girlfriend was spotted at a face party after Banks hit her up on Twitter and later apologized for speaking about her like that during his call with Bruce. Another big nah, streamer that, that, caught that, that up in a lot of crazy. drama when he's had to humble younger streamers trying to act like they're all that is Fousey. Now, sure, Fousey isn't the most likable streamer out there, but he sure knows how to check people when they begin saying too much. There was this time when he was asked to hang out with Jack Doherty, alongside the Island Boys, Neon, Convy, and a bunch of other people to stream while they boxed each other at Island Jack's Boys, place. Neon. Things started oh off God. on the wrong foot between Jack and Fousey, though, as Fousey pulled him aside to humble him for making money off of sponsoring girls and their OnlyFans careers, and for acting like he was the king of the world. I shouldn't even be in your house. I'm here to tell you, suck my girl. I own you. Start by kicking out these girls out of their house. Mm -hmm. Give them back their percentages. You don't need that. You can make your money. Look at your wrist, dog. You don't need a money from a girl to bring yourself I, out. You're I, I, I'm good on my own. So if you choose to change your ways, then as a person, you have respect for yourself. You're a man. You're an Andrew. So Jack Doherty, a pimp. But that was just the start because a while later, after the other guys finished I don't know about each other, Fousey began calling the whole thing a clown show. And when Jack tried to shut him up, he did this. Y'all gonna stare here in my platform? Y'all are all bad ass Hey, this guy f***ing bad ass God damn it. Bad said, hey. Yo, you're a f***ing Hey, yo, you're a little f***ing Hey, yo, you're a little f***ing Then Jack did the same thing to him, and Fousey's response was a smack to the face. Jack's security escorted Fousey outside while Jack just hid behind his car. Nah, he, he need to fire security for that boy, cause ain't no way. Fousey. Yo, give me some water bottles, Jack. Give me some You're lucky yeah. I made friends with your security. Was this stage? No, we can't bust. There's a whole Oh, oh. 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 I slid the door. Was this stage? Cause ain't no way the security just let that slide. So I hit him back. Right now. I'm pissing on your grass. I'm pissing on your grass. You 
Have you suck Fuji tubes? There you go. Neon was the also the victim of Fuji's humbling treatment not once but twice. The Man, first one Fuzzy happened again? when Fuji was hanging out with Neon, Aiden Ross, Sneeko, and Convy at a shoe store. When Fuzi seemingly got tired of them while they were trying to put up a mic on him and went into a corner. So they sent Neon to talk to him, but he tried to be funny and called Fuzi a bee. So he dragged Neon outside to settle things. By the time the cameras caught up, Fuzi had already gut punched Neon and was telling him to get on his hands and knees. Aiden then tried to defuse the situation, but Neon kept running his mouth and Fuzi punched him again for disrespecting him. Neon. What? Oh, what is it? What the fuck? Psychopath, take it, bro. Oh my god. Oh, the next day, Neon went over to Fuzi's house along with Convy to pay his respects to Fuzi. Things seemed to go fine for the most part until Neon said a homophobic slur like it was nothing, and Fuzi humbled him for it, telling him that it's one thing to say those things behind the computer and a whole different one saying that stuff in the real world. Then Neon tells Fuzi he's not perfect either and Fuzi smacks him in response. He then tells him to be more respectful since he was in his house. It didn't end there because Fuzi continued to check. Bro, this gotta be staged because no way a grown man is smacking y'all like this, bro. On telling him that he wasn't humble and that he had to show more respect to his elders before tossing some food at his face. And Aiden Ross is not quite as explosive as Fuzi when it comes to going off against people. But there was one time he had to step up and check another streamer to let him know he was in charge. As a bit of background on Aiden's position, not only is he the face of Kick with 1.4 million followers on the platform, but he also has over 30% of ownership on the company thanks to equity deals yeah. and getting to purchase his own share of stocks, yeah. which grants him a say on some of the decisions Kick makes. So back in mid-2023, when Kick really became a household name for streaming, Aiden said that Twitch was already a dead platform and that a bunch of Twitch streamers were asking him to come to Kit, and that two specific streamers would never be allowed to stream there. There's only two streamers that are banned from Kit. Miss Kit, you can't come. You're not coming to Kit, bro. I'm sorry, you're not coming, bro. Me and Bruce, you don't want you here. You're not coming. Me That's and first Bruce. Of Suck it. Crazy. Bruce is back on Twitch now. You're not invited either. I'm gonna be honest, bro. But I heard he was on a contract. Um, those so. two are banned. Okay, they cannot come. Pokemon. Pokemon is. I got no problem with Pokemon. As for Ms. Kiff, it's not like the decision of blacklisting him came out of nowhere. Both him and Aiden haven't been on the best terms, with the two exchanging blows against one another over the past few years. A whole year after the whole thing, Aiden went on to talk about Ms. Kiff and Hassan again because they criticized the stream he did with Trump. Hassan responded, I don't want to respond to him anymore. He's the most contradicting, hypocritical person ever. His, pol his political f***ing mindset doesn't make sense. He has a $5 million f***ing crib, okay? He drives a sports car. I saw him, why don't you donate all the money that you make outside of what your expenses are to your community? No, you won't because your community is stupid as <laughs> And also, I want to say one thing. For Miss, Miss Kiff and Hassan, for all you guys think my audience too young to vote, listen, bro, my audience is young, yes, but a lot of these people could vote my chat. And Miss Kiff, you act like your audience is not full of a bunch of weirdos too. Didn't you get caught doing some crazy shit, bro? Same with you, Hassan. You probably got some crazy sh** in the closet, bro. You got some crazy skeletons in the closet, bro. I, I, I know for a fact you do. But one thing is getting put in your place by another Fredo. player, and a whole different one is going after Ooh, a whole Lord, crew bro. and ending up on the losing side. Sad to see Fredo just go, like, down, nigga, like. Damn. This is exactly what happened between Pretty Boy Fredo and the guys from the AMP, AMP. house. Oh. This whole beef started back in 2018 when Agent uploaded two videos exposing a couple of fake prank videos yeah. Fredo did back then. Then in 2020, Agent uploaded another video on Fredo talking about some of the other things he has done for views. Like faking a sneaker collection, capping his fans, saying he caught COVID for views, and then deleting the video a week later to organize a fan meetup in New York and for putting out a dishonest apology video to try and clear his name. Now, if you're a fan of the pretty boy Fredo, uh, you might have seen this video titled My One Million Sneaker Collection Full Closet Tour. 
Do you need me to say it? And I would like to personally welcome you guys to my closet. Guys, that's a store. He went to a store, claimed it was his closet. Anybody that would pretend as if they caught Damn. the voter to get views. A week and a half later, delete the video because he wanted to have a meetup in New York City where he was going to take the f*** over. He took over New York City. That's not a good person we're speaking about. Any person that would fake a predator video and seem like the, the he, like he made himself out to be the white old did fake a predator video. Oh my Look God. What we did for the world. We caught this guy. This actor. <laughs> this is supposed to be a good person? You want me to believe that? From there, Fredo responded with Damn, a cancel Fredo attempt on Fredo should have stuck the game, and y'all agree? Like, just stuck to the... Nah, because 2K is, has fell the fuck off, so... Nah, 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 nah. Because a crazy guy on Twitter said he death been real, to bro, daughter, like, and he claimed that it was sent by agent himself. Had his fans spamming me on Twitter death threats to my daughter. To my child, an innocent being. How disgusting and a pig you are. You do not deserve a channel. You are canceled. And as a father, it's on sight, bro. You are a scum, you are a pig, and you are a clown. And you will be canceled. But agent didn't stay silent and immediately uploaded his response to say that all of what Fredo said was a blatant Cal lie and that the guy who said those things was just some random dude that was mad at Fredo. I was curious who this guy was that I was getting blamed for. No affiliation here. So I went through the archives and the only interaction between me and him in the month his Twitter account was even active was being called Cap on July 19th about a tweet I made. I don't even know what tweet that is. But there is five instances here. Boom, 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 boom of him joining your giveaways, Fredo. So who knows Damn. what this guy's motivation was for saying those disgusting things, but to argue that it was me, even though there was no evidence I ever inspired anyone Crazy. to Crazy. Fredo tried to get Agent canceled, y'all. No, that is insane. It's crazy. You could just as equally have guessed that he was pissed he didn't win one of your giveaways. But regardless yeah. of the reason why this individual did this, to sit there and make it a main point of your video it's and crazy. to look, look here and make it the only comment in your video, you're clearly trying to manipulate. It wasn't until Kai weighed in on the whole situation that the beef sparked back again. On the 2022 AMP Freshman Cypher, both Kai and Phantom dropped a diss on Fredo. Boy, they went to try and make a comeback. <laughs> this, I think this is their best Cypher so far, right? This is the best one, to be honest. Just because of this diss, this is the, the best one. As a response to Kai, Fredo <laughs> dropped a video making fun of him where he got a little dude to play him and act like they were squashing the beef. He followed it up by releasing a set of diss ciphers against Kai in the AMP group. Yeah. And it was all good until people realized that he copied lyrics word for word from the songs he was inspired by. Agent had the last word on the whole thing by being the bigger man and accepting the apology DMs Fredo sent him. And that he hoped he was able to grow and learn from his mistakes. Let's just hope that him getting humbled by AMP and Agent kickstarted his redemption arc. There's gonna be people who make mistakes. I think a lot of the time, there's gonna be a whole bunch of PR and bullshit happens, but you have to give people the opportunity to grow otherwise you're what's wrong with the planet because you're also gonna make mistakes it just so happens that your mistakes aren't in front of millions of people the way his was you know mm. it, it just so happens that your mistake was not caught on camera your mistake was not like you didn't get arrested for your mistake your mistake your parents didn't catch you when you made your mistake so we all make mistakes being able to grow from it is a sign of maturity but it's also a sign that like, it's, it's, it gives you hope. Uh, what is yeah. what, bro? I fully accept his apology, Fredo. Um, there's no beef or bad blood from my side. I hope the same applies to you. And sometimes you don't need to do anything for some people to think you have to CJ be. CJ, so ego. cool. This is more apparent between celebrities, and it's something you can see frequently in the streaming world. Like one time when YouTuber CJ So Cool uploaded a video talking about how he ran into Kai and Speed at a restaurant, but they didn't say hi to him. A normal person would just see that as a regular thing, but for CJ, it was a total lack of respect. When Saying was that this? streamers and creators thought they were too much, and that they should have at least recognized him calling them both fake. It just showed me that people are your fans. 
and then they don't want to be your fan anymore once they become somebody or once they're older. Hey, once it's what's not going on with CJ now, y'all? What, what's going on with him? I, I heard some shit about him. Like, his, he had to sell his house or something like that. What, what's going on? Be your fan anymore. So, when that happens, that's when you realize that these people are fake. Because I'm still fans of Nelly. I still like Chris Brown. And y'all know what Chris Brown did. He literally played me in my face. Even though Speed was the Damn, main bird. subject in CJ's rant, he didn't really speak on it. Kai, on the other hand, reacted to the whole video. He then went on to expose CJ for trying to cloud chase. They just walk in the restaurant, I'm sitting out eating it. I'm like, man, I look familiar. They looking at me like, hey, he looks familiar. I don't say anything. Wait, me, what? I ain't gonna lie, they doing better than me in the social media zone right now, so I'm not finna be approaching people like, ah, because honestly, I ain't, I ain't nobody fan. I'm a fan of myself and my kids, that's it. I ain't fan and I don't nobody. But when I see them walk in, I ain't say a thing. I done seen Floyd Mayweather the whole, I done seen Floyd Mayweather about five times. And everybody knows who Floyd is. Does that mean you gotta go out your way to say what's up to them? You don't know him? Me? Maybe CJ just felt. No, y'all don't know each other, bro. He, never mind. It's CJ okay, just being CJ. Like this is normal. Sneeko also made oh, one no. thing over nothing with Kai and Speed because there was a time they were walking through a hotel and passed by Sneeko without saying anything to him while he was streaming. Now, can you please wait with Sneeko? Yes. Walk well, right past him. Yes. Look at Speed. Sneeko went on an interview and said that he didn't care while quoting a bunch of motivational sayings and that he preferred to be in a supportive brotherhood all for being ignored. There was also another time Sneeko tried to diss Kai and other streamers over his Discord for reacting to a video Moist Critical made on him. On the message, Sneeko said that every one of them had an agenda against him and how they were all using him for clout. Sneeko! Oh my god, Sneeko, yes, Sneeko! This! Kayak dubs, kayak dubs, kayak dubs, dubs. He deleted it! He deleted it! He dissed me and deleted it! What the fuck? Hard Bruh, hard, hard, I never hard. knew Sneeko and Kai it, got into it. Bro, I don't be uh, paying attention to nothing, nigga. This, this was crazy, bro. This is crazy, man. Bro, I just can't react no more. Bro, first of all, I haven't even... But I didn't even know... Drop the... Re uh, 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 did anybody else know that he dropped like a, a, a comeback video or something? A response video? You. <laughs> bro, I don't be on Rumble, bro. Bro, I don't even be on Rumble, bro. I don't even be on Rumble, bro. I ain't just like about Rumble, record, nigga. But the times Bruce has gotten humbled by other streamers could be its own DDG. video in of itself. Back in 2023, Bruce got in some beef with DDG. It started when Bruce had invited rapper and producer Lucky, Lucky over to do a stream. Everything was fine Slinsky. until Bruce told Lucky not to collab with DDG. DDG got pissed at this because it meant that he probably got blocked from working with another rapper. Hop on DDG track. No, I'm going to save you from that one, my friend. Damn. What it is, man? What it is, man? What you mean? <laughs> What you mean I'm gonna save you from that? It ain't no goddamn joke. It's not a joke. He probably said it's a joke after he seen his chat. Like, oh, look at him, look. From there, they both began trading blows with each other every time they could. Damn. And that went on until you Damn, stepped Bruce. in and held a call with the two of them to get them to talk it through. Okay, I ain't gonna it didn't lie. really have the effect he wanted it to, even if they did apologize at the end. Listen, I ain't gonna lie, getting both of them on the call is like probably one of the worst things to do because you know both of these niggas they gonna troll each other. It's, it ain't gonna do nothing but make things even worse. But yeah, both of these niggas are big trolls, bro. Like she's on the drunk. They both petty as hell. Yeah, bro, you wouldn't even like that, bro. You know how the internet be. You know how it be. That's type of gonna be in person, bro. He's not like that, like that. This nigga trying to entertain and trying to get some TikTok clips or whatever the f he gonna do to get viral. I get it, I understand it. But I'm saying, bro, beyond that, this can turn into real life. Cool, I'm going to see you at some point in time, and it's going to be a conversation that we're going to have. I'm not going to act bro, like this Bro, 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 Daryl, like, real s***, bro. And I mean, no disrespect by calling you your government, your government name, if you think that. Bruce drunk, too. But, bro, you literally made three TikToks after my first video on you, my nigga. I don't yeah, take nothing bro. that you say are in serious. I'm screaming that link. Did you get that crib in LA? Could you afford that crib in LA? This nigga dance. But I moved to LA when the tax is higher. 
This nigga is stupid, bruh. Stupid ass. After the call, DDG drops some foreshadowing on Bruce's career, and because of being drunk and all of what he said during the stream, Bruce got banned from Twitch as a result. Bruce doesn't yeah. have it. He doesn't have it. I'm telling y'all that right now, bro. He doesn't have it. He's a matter of time before he's done. Even your rage got into some drama with Bruce for being close to him. And he Damn. had to dedicate a whole stream to humbling Bruce after his DMs talking crap about Kai, AMP, Yachty, and Rage himself leaked. So he had to let Bruce know what he had been keeping quiet about for the years they've known each other. Bruce, I don't know if you got brain rot or something like that. I know every, you think everybody's trying to fucking copy you. Like, like, you don't understand. Like, he doesn't believe in coincidences. He doesn't believe in influences. Everybody just trying to copy him. Everybody's just watching him to copy his... And no... Streamer better call me during the stream. I'm not answering the f phone. Now, when it comes to getting humble for trying to act tough for attention, Neon is definitely the best of them. There was this time when he got into some beef with Duke Dennis when Duke gets some commentary on Neon's whole personality and how everything he does is a cry for attention. Neon reacted to it and he got mad when he began to talk about his parents and that's when he tried to press Duke for it. Anything he do is a cry for, like, attention. It's, it's almost like... It's almost like the got parents and shit who always work. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like his, his parents always worked when he was a kid. And like right, he, bro. Um, Duke, hey, I f*** you, bro, and you're cool, but don't bring my family involved, bro, because that's when shit gets, like, wait, wait, that shit gets, no, no, hold on, that ass, now I feel away, bro, hold on. Give me a sec, bro, I'm actually in the mold right now. Nah, that bro, don't bring my family involved, bro, especially my Man. mom and dad, bro, who were there for me and shit, bro. Chill the f*** bro, I don't go around talking about your family and shit. Because you're no damn well you're not saying that to my face, bro. You're just not doing it, bro. You're not respectfully. Duke then reacted to Neon's clip and said that he only gave the example about his parents because it was the first thing that came to his mind. And that he didn't mean anything bad about it. He also apologized if he saw it as a disrespect, but called him a hypocrite for doing the same thing he was complaining about. Giving examples. There was thousands of other examples I could have given, but I was given an example. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway. Like, I'm just throwing it out there. Listen to this. You are an attention seeker. It's almost. I feel. I feel like he is too. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like Neon is an attention seeker too. In high school, you heard that there was a, there was another example. I just so happened to use the parents work too much example, which isn't a. It's not. I'm not saying they bad about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was saying your parents worked hard to the point where. You felt like you didn't receive enough attention from them, which again is on you. Maybe they did give you a lot of attention. Maybe they did. I don't know. I was giving it. I was giving an example. So the fact that you got so offended by that right there, by me giving an example, the shoe it kind of looked like the shoe fit a little bit, little bro. <laughs> I, would, I would say it to your face, cause like if you really think about it, I be thinking about it like deeper than what it's supposed to be. But you got a security guard. I'm assuming. You got a security guard, I got a security guard. If you remove the security guards from the equation, <laughs> yeah. and me and you left sitting right there, face to face, sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying like, I don't, I don't know how old you is, but I'm, I'm, I ain't mean no disrespect by it. And before we move on, subscribe really quick. But now let's move on to XQC because he's another streamer who has put a lot of people in their place. Back in April 2024, he got into a back and forth with Jinxie after XQC exposed oh, Jinxie him for and XQC? Jinxie then replied by saying that XQC only proved that he had 15,000 lurkers since the website he was on only showed the number of active chatters. Then he goes off against XQC, calling him crazy and that he was delusional for making those claims. So XQC is putting up a website that shows you your active chatters. That's all it is. He's putting up a website that shows your active chatters. I don't know. I think he has like extended follower mode. Like you have to be. So in this clip, I have 84,000 viewers. Followed for a little bit longer. Got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, all no, right. He's fine. Six, six. XQC's friend, I think that's Jesse, says, oh no, he's fine. Six nine nine eight one. So I have sixty nine thousand nine hundred views. So basically seventy thousand viewers, give or take, like ten or twenty viewers. Seventy thousand viewers that are actively chatting, active chatters. 
When I watch a Twitch stream, bro, I don't chat. That's a lot of people on Twitch. Yeah. So that literally proves that I don't view bot. XQC then responded with one of the coldest arguments ever by flexing his $300,000 Richard Milley watch. After that, he kept calling him out because he explained that an active chatter is every viewer who's watching the stream. XQC wow. is also one of the many wow. streamers who went against Bruce's ego. Damn, Bruce! Bruce made his return to streaming on Twitch after being over on Kick for a while, but it didn't last long for Bruce to crash out, and his first big victim was XQC. It's not like Bruce going crazy like that is something unusual, but at least this time he admitted he wanted the attention from the whole thing. Bro, it's me eaters, bro, because XQC is a eater. Oh, my mama, you eat mad. I don't give a f I'm crashing. You're a d eater, nigga. Eater? Oh my god, it's insane. When all that drama happened. Oh no, don't here we go, me bitch. I was being quiet. I let him say everything he had to say about me. Now it's time to talk about your white crackheaded ass. I don't give a Dang. f because everybody <laughs> treats you like the golden boy. You not the golden boy, nigga. Just like with Jinxie, XQC's response was flexing one of his iced out watches and saying nothing. You got them fine. <laughs> Bruce then took it a okay. whole while further by saying that he wasn't impressed by XQC's watches oh, and yeah, encouraging AP. his fans to get shot. Now, I don't know, like, what's going on. It's an AP. Yeah, big AP. What I'm talking about, like, you know, like, watch or how is he going to come back from this and that, you know? A buzz down is pretty cool, kids, but when you have a whole gold bar on your wrist... <laughs> this is your granddaddy died for a dumb Stop playing with Oh my god. Understood? I'm not some dumb black XQC Felix. You can't just put diamonds in front of my face and I'm gonna go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> watch the rest of the clip. Watch your watches. You. This is y'all. This is a whole fing orphanage that Shelby came from. You stupid gaming every juicer to him, every juicer shot! That's when Twitch stepped up and banned Bruce for inciting aggressive behavior and inappropriate language. Damn. The ban wasn't permanent, though, and XQC complained about it, saying that Twitch should have taken more definitive measures and that the moderation team just does what they want. And perhaps one of today's streamers who most deserves to get humbled is Jack Doherty. However, this man is Jack. memorable humbling didn't come from another big streamer, but rather from Lenny Miller, a seemingly random guy who tried to take the fight directly to Jack. Lenny is a YouTuber with a content that mostly consists of going out on the streets and approaching random girls to try and check them using their weight or measurements. The beef between the wow. two began when Jack <laughs> talked trash about Lenny during one of his streams. Who the f are they? I really want to try kicking the f out. Like, who the f are they? They didn't pay for How the f I'm so like mind boggled. It's how the f the two most hated people here are having last bedroom. What the you definitely don't remember this interaction, but look. Yo, Jack, how does it feel? I know. I, that's what I was literally just talking about. I was just talking about how the f*** this kid keeps ending up. One time he came to my house after all this I was like, who, who, how the f*** did this guy get through the gate? Like, who the f*** let him in? From there, Lenny decided to take matters into his own hands quite literally. He went to Jack's house while he was having a party with two sets of boxing gloves to oh, settle wow. things once and for all. Once then, oh. he confronted Jack, and he just walked away to hide behind his people to start talking back. Things then got heated when they threw the gloves at each other, and Jack's goons went against Lenny. All while Jack hid behind them while acting tough. Fast to talk on stream, let's go. Let's go. What? Let's go. You had hella talk. Trash to talk on stream. Now let's go. You try. You talk. Trash nah, Jay. Nah, nah, Jay. Nah, 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 Put the gloves on, on nigga. But you'll say it on the vod, huh? Because I don't want to give you a clip like you're trying to do right now. What do you mean? Nah, if you're a man, stand on business. Stand on business. You're not standing on business. What's the point of giving you a clip, bro? What do you mean? Walk away. Yeah, walk away. You always do this, bro. You never stand on business ever. Just like I walked away when you tried to play ping pong. You're like, why aren't you playing ping pong with me? Because you're always scared. I literally have boxing gloves. I have boxing gloves. Let's go. You're talking shit. Let's go. I literally have boxing right now. Chill, chill. But let. 
Eddie didn't the leave fuck? things there, and two weeks later, he dropped a diss track on Jack, where he went off against Creators Inc. And Goddamn frat boy, don't play, boy. Bows Jack for faking one of his streams you. where his that car was shot at. Now there's humbling and there's total and utter destruction of someone's career by showing the facts. This is what happened when Sneeko tried to mess with Penguin Zero, also known as Moist Critical, and Charlie. This all started back in May 2022 when Charlie released a video where he talked about the Fresh and Fit podcast saying Yo, that... Yo, all he do, I ain't gonna lie, all he do is just straight up expose people and I love that for him. Pathetic. <laughs> women on the show only to insult them a little don't bit play, bro. to make them look like alpha males. He also went on to call them out for saying false statements, like how they're these big time players who get a lot of girls. Anyway, this is the Fresh and Fit podcast. The entire purpose of this show is to bring women on to insult and belittle them to their face, while also preaching that men should have the right to cheat on their significant other as many times as they want. Whereas what? their significant other isn't even allowed to look at other men. They have to go in public with like horse blinders on. And if they even so much as glance at a dude, you need to kick them to the streets immediately because they're disgusting, worthless. It's super hard to think that anything they say is real when they constantly what? make stupid claims like this one. You know, we're both a triple digit notch count. He's in the quadruples. <laughs> there is no reality in the entirety of the multiverse where this man has slept with one woman, let alone over a thousand of them. During that time, Sneeko was deep in the alpha men community, appearing in several podcasts in the matter and being friends with the guys Charlie roasted. So he tried to defend them. However, his only point was calling Charlie a monogamist and then proceeded to make fun of his girlfriend. I'm not going to wow. say that. Someone text me. He's in a monogamous relationship. Why y'all? Now, why y'all drag that girl into this? This is a girl. Why y'all? Nah. She ain't got nothing to do with it. So there you go. I, I mean, I told you, like, I could hear it in your voice. The fact that someone doesn't have to abide by those rules. Someone could go and f*** out a bit. That it's so foreign to a lot of people's ideas because when you get brainwashed, when you get told that monogamy is the answer, Charlie responded to this by exposing Sneeko as an activist for sensitive content depicting children. Mentioning the time he was defending the movie Cuties, Charlie made a video criticizing the movie and Netflix for creating such a thing. And Sneeko <laughs> made a response video basically calling the movie a masterpiece. I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit more about this. Uh, I am pretty familiar with Sneeko, probably more so than a lot of his more modern fan base is. I first became aware of his content when he got mad at me a couple years ago because I was criticizing a movie called Cuties. For those that don't know, Cuties was a movie that went to Netflix and it was basically just softcore child. And Never heard of it. a video talking about how gross that whole situation was and Sneeko made a response to it saying that the outrage around this film is misplaced and it's actually a good movie. Americans are like, this is deplorable. I saw this commentator, Penguin Zero, who I, I actually like. There's not a lot of good commentators, but he's like, this movie is it's deplorable. There's nothing good about it. There's nothing. And it's like he didn't even watch the movie. It's just like he only saw the clips that were going to piss him off. From that, Sneeko tried to act tough, pointing a gun to the Yo. camera and threatening Charlie in a Bullets. light stream. But he didn't expect Charlie would pull one of the clips. Oh, he's he he too. You want to watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You want, to, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> During the stream, I couldn't watch him live because he just kept shouting slurs. So I said, watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. And I'm sorry to be that guy. This is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a f imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips. You absolute dummy. The same Ooh. way that this is Dang. also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips. You look stupid here. And Kai also had to go against Tassan and put him in his place for being a snitch. Back in mid-2023, DDG was on a stream and decided to call up Aiden in the middle of it. Back then, Aiden was banned on Twitch, and according to the platform's policies, having someone who was banned on your stream could lead to you getting banned as well. Yeah. So DDG tried to play it off as if he was talking to someone else and calling him Adam. What does Hassan have to do with all of this? He went on to try and call DDG out for having Aiden in the stream. He's saying this is Adam because he's streaming on Twitch, and Aiden is banned on Twitch. And if Twitch found out that, like, he was having a phone conversation with uh, Aiden Ross live on Twitch... He would get 
man. That's why he's saying this is Adam. It's not Adam, obviously. It's Aiden Ross, as you guys all know. Uh -huh. I saw the whole situation and decided to humble Hassan, saying that the whole community is fake, since they beef with each other while going to parties with each other and playing it off as if they were cool. Hey, you was snitched, you was snitched. Clearly you was snitched because you snitched. Not saying I was Aiden because I was clearly Adam, but you was snitched, bro. You feel me? Yeah. You're telling me you suck your... And it's so crazy because I'm just... Like, bro, it's so crazy because I'm not with the, like... I'm not going to throw any more entertaining into this, but y'all, like... Beef? Y'all say this about each other? I don't see you do it with SQC. I don't see you do it with a whole bunch of people. Y'all like that, and then y'all go to parties together and get drunk together and and, 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 and be like, yeah, man, I love you. And, and like, bro, oh, that's like, fake ass shit, man. I love you, man. Like, bro, like, that shit it's fake. Not, bro. It's, it's fake love. Yeah, it's, it's fake. Fake. Love. fake. Stay over there on that side of the field, bro. And speaking of streamers humbling people, one streamer had to let a hip-hop OG know that he was stuck in the past and a rapper's career took a turn for trying to scam a streamer. So click this video to see when streamers humble entitled... I'm good. If y'all want to see a video like that, just let me know. Just let me know. Anyway, man, that's going to be it for today's reaction. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Don't forget to follow me on every social media link that's in the description below. If y'all want more videos like this, bro, just let me know. You know what I'm saying? Send me the video. Do whatever. Y'all stay safe and I'm out, bruh.